Sullivan. Ah, oh, can it go? Sullivan, can it go? I think Sullivan will go out there to the field. I don't think anybody's going to catch him. I don't think anybody's going to catch him. Everybody's saying go, go, go. And he goes. And a try to Sullivan. The 1972 tournament was a a fantastic tournament in terms of the quality of the rugby league that was played. There's some fantastic games and you can still see them today uh, on YouTube and various places. And of course, the final itself was a, an incredibly tense affair um, and was noted uh, for the fact that Clive Sullivan, the first black captain of any British national side, he picked up a loose ball from Australia and uh, I'm old enough to remember this and I remember Eddie Waring's word words saying can he go can he go and he did go and it was just a fantastic moment to watch and it turned the game and the game ended up um, as a 10 all draw but Great Britain won because of their previous record in the tournament so it, it kind of made up for the disappointment of the 1970 tournament um, and Clive Sullivan both by his performance in the matches and particularly by that try but also the fact he was the captain of the Great Britain team um, basically earned his place in British sporting history in that tournament. And he was, he was not the first black player to play for Great Britain. Uh, Billy Boston had done. Roy Francis, going back to 1947, was the first, uh, the first black player. And there'd been a tradition of black players playing for England and, and Wales in the 1930s. So Clive Sullivan really, um, in a sense, highlighted the fact that rugby league had always had um, a healthy attitude towards racial equality in the game and that players have never been uh, held back because of the colour of their skin and you know even all the way up to, to captain in the side which is quite unusual in those days in any, in any sport. So the 72 tournament was important both because Great Britain won uh, and it was the last time that Great Britain would ever win uh, but also because it cemented Clive Sullivan's place in if you like the pantheon of British sport and especially rugby league.